Yeah, mentioned missing black box equipment in the guts, but Josh Dalton might not be on the guts, or in the guts, whatever the G-U-T-S stands for, I'm calling it the guts, and I ga gather just from the name, it's like the mm, lower maintenance sort of area, it's the, you know, the guts of the station, as it were. But this is where it all happens, so there's gonna be a lot of bad guys. I think... No, I'm gonna start with my pistol. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Never mind. Is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? Michaela is how you pronounce that word. I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Guts. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Okay, so it's like a maintenance shaft. Hmm, well, Alex is tracking me. He knows exactly where I am. Uh, should I, how many spare parts have I got? I can find out. Eleven. That should cost me three or four. I, I'm gonna get hurt if I try to go past that. So let's, yeah, four. Come on. This will eventually, like, break through the glue, apparently. Take those. I'd like some more spare parts around here. Have you got any of those? Okay. Alex doesn't know who's helping. He doesn't know about January. He thinks either Michaela, whoever that is, or Elazar are, are, are assisting me. Now, Elazar's around. I don't think I've heard anything from Michaela. I assume she is too. But... I have read that name before, so I'm pretty sure it's not new. I, uh, just get to the guts. Just... I mean, I'm, I'm kind of dawdling, but let's stay low. And take care. They're actually, No, I'm going to prep the wrench, and we'll use that. And get ready to use my... Recycler charge if I need to. I don't know what weapon to brandish it, general... As a general rule, because... You know... What would be the most effective immediately? At range, pistol. At close up, the wrench does more damage per hit. I'm not going to go through there. You know what? Noises, noises, noises. Lots of noises. Right, I hear a phantom. Let's prep up a recycler charge then. Crouch down. All right, I think I got sucked into my own recycler charge. I got an achievement for that, and in <laughs> I got two achievements. Re reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, use a single recycler charge to recycle at least 20 objects. And intrinsic value, you recycled yourself. Uh, I think that creates a little singularity that sucks people in, so I closed it. I, sh I dropped it way closer than I ought to have done. Noted. Got it. Okay. Uh, don't bother with the recycler charge at close range. Okay. Glue and shoot, I think. I know where you are now. Back off. Run. Glue. <sighs> Got it. Blocks you up. Damn it. What the? Where's that? What was that? Mimic. I didn't see it. Ah, oh, well. I lost a bit of suit damage, but, you know. And some, I got some shotgun, shotgun shells for that. What is with my voice today? It is not pronouncing words. Hi. <sighs> Let's eat food. Stop hitting escape to get out of that menu. Very low on glue canisters. I actually meant to go to pistol there. I've got to remember to hit tab. Every, it's, just a, it's just a lot of reflexes don't work. In this, like, my normal value is to scroll between weapons or to press buttons, but... It feels a little... Like, look at that. If I switch to the... 
if I switch to the silenced pistol after immediately switching to the wrench, it'll pull out the wrench before it switches back to the silenced pistol rather than quick shifting back. If I change my mind, for instance, if I get it wrong or panic, I kind of wish it wouldn't do that. The Starbender Cycle, Book 3, Spatial Delivery. The Starbender Cycle. Excerpt from Book 3 of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. Trevor Pulsar slammed the engine into o the Talon's engine into overdrive, praising to Zlor that he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before Mordrax raiders caught up to him. He was on urgent business for Empress... Oh my god. Okay, I've read this. I've read this sci-fi book a thousand times. Audible is just clogged up with these kinds of self-published military sci-fi books. Most of them are just total schlock, but, you know. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordrax kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked. Patch me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. Moments later, a scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tones, and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Zlaw's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber. Saving all your asses. I found the Starbender prism, and I'm coming in hot. That just about lines up with all my expectations. Something I... There's, there's, there's something in some of those sci-fi novels where the world building is absolute garbage sometimes. And some of the prose is really amateurish. Like, I'm not usually too much of a snob when it comes to solid prose, but like it's like that. It's like, here's some names and titles and locations. You're just thinking you put more effort into the world building than the story or the characters. You know, world building's fun, but it does not a good story make, and I think a lot of sci-fi and fantasy writers need to learn that lesson. This point. I, uh, okay, I need a psychoscope. Uh, where do I get a psychoscope? Do I have one? What's a psychoscope? Q-beam, glue cannon, I don't think I have one, whatever that is. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Are you saying that because I don't have one? Got multiple objectives back that way. Did I go in the wrong bathroom? The one with the alien in it, but not the one with what I needed? The psychoscope? Maybe there's a psychoscope elsewhere I'm supposed to go through here, perhaps? I went around. Let's try that. Maybe I need to get into security. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's just telling me I need a psychoscope. No, that's just a... That's just a tunnel. Alright, let's look at security. I was trying to go through fast. That requires hacking level 2, which I do not have. Um, I, and I imagine this is safety glass. You can't just break that. Uh, security is crap. Just break this and... S I could squeeze through that. I'm sure I could squeeze through that. Ah, oh, you, you tease, you absolute tease. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any other way in. You're gonna have to get the code for this. But, but this is locked down. What is, what is all these, what do all these X's mean? Nope, wrong thing. You can't actually press this. Interesting. No way in there. I need a psychoscope. I'm gonna check that other bathroom. That should be security glass, like you'd think they'd have some kind of means of preventing you from breaking it. Well, I was I was I was told not to hang around here, and this is exactly what I'm doing. Oh, it's a mimic corpse. Leverage two. Am I going to get locked entirely out of an area because I didn't spec in the right way? Or do I just go around the back? Clean room preparation. God, I don't... Uh, I'm just not getting enough of this. It's so tempting. I'm pretty sure... 
That was a mimic I heard. Oh, there is a hole in the floor. Brilliant. What was it? V. There we go. I was wondering what the torch button was. Like, if I press the wrong button, I'm going to activate something and waste something. More of something I can't afford to lose. It's going to be somewhere in that hole. I don't want to go in the hole. See, there, I wanted to switch. I, I accidentally hit two, I meant to hit three, and it took a minute to switch back. Oh, that's so gross. And out of the toilet. I think it's gone. Where did it... What was that? What was that thing stuck in it? I shot it because it looked alive. That wasn't a psychoscope, was it? Hmm, no, I'm gonna have to go down there. Test tube sample, some glue canisters, a psi hypo. I'll take that test tube sample. I'm sure I can get back up here. Oh, damn it, I, don't, I really don't want to go down here. But there is a med kit. I could use that, but let's not. Save up. Now, what does a psychotrope look like? That's all glued up. I can break through that eventually. I fell. I fell in a thing. Okay, I wanted the shotgun ready because I'll come back. Oh, you're crawling up. I think I got him, or at least I hit him for 49, but I don't think he died. Where'd you go? Oh yeah, of course I can get back up here. I've got a glue canister. I can glue myself back up. There is a mimic down there. Somewhere. Somewhere in there, it's pointing it out. It's one of these boxes. It's kind of pointing there. Shouldn't be wasting ammunition. I can't even replicate this. I can see you. My screen's telling me you're there. You're one of these things. I hate it. I hate not knowing. Oh, this. See, I really wish switching weapons didn't feel quite so sticky. Don't know why it was all glued up for that long. But I'll take all this glue ammo I can get. 42 there. That's empty. There's a psychoscope. Okay. Just expected me to go looking for it, I suppose. Fair enough. What is a psychoscope? It's a helmet. Oh, that's going to look really derpy on my head. Anyone remember Google Glass? Yeah. Okay. The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan detection. the type of organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Oh, awesome. I'm very smart, apparently. Talking to Psychoscope and scan for nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing neuromods. Okay, is there more to the tech tree? I thought that was it. Alright. I've got Mimic Detection Gen 1. That's a... Scope chipset. Very well. Uh, I'll plug that in somewhere. I don't care where. Just pick something. I want to be able to see that. Where? More specimens required. What was the scan? That's a mimic? That's a mimic. Why didn't it... 
Why didn't it attack me when I was standing right here? That seems a bit strange. God, it's hard to see, frankly. I got him. Surprise attack on a mimic. Right. So I'll keep my. I'll have to keep like occasionally dropping that if I think there might be something around here. Right. New thing. New gameplay element. Scanning for mimics. That'll be useful. I'll just have to remember to hit Z on occasion. I hit Z before and it did a different thing, but I didn't. I think it was just zooming in a little bit. Now it activates a scope. Now that'll just work anywhere. Multiple objectives. So I want to go that way. All right. Uh, how do I get up? There we go. There's nothing else around here. Right, onwards to the guts. Okay, now that I've got a psychoscope, psychoscope you're gonna let me in. This point. Decontamination in progress. Okay. It's weird they didn't even say, you better go find a psychoscope. I just, just let me, let me figure that one out and do the thing. That's up to the atrium. What? Oh, you're just a hello. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Ooh, thank you. You're not so bad yourself, I suppose. What am I supposed to take away from that information? Stephen Mueller. Uh, some biohazard waste, some food, and a mimic tumor. So, okay, so you're just a friendly science operator. I'm gonna... I don't need to be worried about you. And I'm gonna eat something I just picked up. Okay. Left click to get out of that. Alright. Up to the atrium, apparently. Scan Typhon organisms to calibrate psychotrip. Right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. Huh. Oddly helpful there. So why is that slightly ominous? Putting bits of Typhon into myself doesn't sound like the smartest move I could possibly make, but it would make me very powerful. I, um... Why would you be trying to help me? You know I'm trying to presumably destroy the station, your life's work. Z to scan. Research complete. Uh, science operator witnesses our electric EMP explosive and melee. And immune to psychic and null wave. But that's a friendly science operator. Press J to review research on the entity you just scanned. So I've got a mimic and a science operator. Okay, you got to research multiple of these, so six times. Okay, I've got... Oh, <laughs> I didn't do very well in Bioshock when I got the research camera. I didn't do very well on researching stuff up. I'm going to have to... Uh, let's wait to Q-beam. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm, uh, I'm doing that a bit more often. I'm definitely gonna need it on this difficulty level. And science operators, I haven't come, I've come across the infected operators. Let's read this. One of the first Typhon discovered during the Verona 1 incident in 1960, mimics are capable of imitating nearby objects. During incident case hash 0648-040163, it was observed that mimics use other living organisms as a reproduction medium, killing their prey in the process. In accordance with the Pobeg protocol, mimic specimens are not to be released in environments with a containment rating of less than S4. They were discovered in 1960. What what was going on with the space race that everything happened really early? There wasn't much going on in space in 1960. You had maybe 
half a dozen satellites in orbit. You had no humans in space yet. Vostok 1 didn't happen until 61. This is pre-crewed space flight. So what, so something happened before the, something definitely happened before, it must have been early 50s, or I would have said something goes back to World War II with the, the way the US and, maybe it was the discovery of alien life that brought the, that made it necessary for the US and the Soviet Union to start working together on the lunar station so they could study these objects. But they got bought out. The research was privatized and used to try and turn a profit for Transstar. When were they discovered? Like, there was the Verona 1 incident, but... That's not a real... I don't believe that's a real mission. I think that's made up, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not absolutely familiar with Soviet, early, especially early Soviet space program. The, the early Soviet space program. I'm getting up to that. I've got a book I'm waiting to read. I'm just getting through some other stuff first about the Soviet space program. But um, I haven't read that yet. It's close to Venera, the Soviets' uh, Venus Explorer missions, but they didn't launch till 61 either. That's already been scanned. There's something there. More specimens required. That is a phantom in the container. Okay, you can research phantoms four times, or at least you can get four bars of research. Phantom, except from Psychotronics database, phantoms are not wholly alien. I didn't think so. They definitely speak like humans. Created by weavers. Using human remains, phantoms have been known to exhibit human-like neural patterns at times, but as noted in observation log hash 1621-041477, while phantoms may also attempt to reproduce human phrases, they do not appear to retain any actual speech or human comprehension. Due to the specimen's explosive speed, the phantom must be subdued or enclosures purged before attempting to enter. Weakness is only glue and immunity to EMPs. Scannable powers, kinetic blast one or two. That's, uh... That's worrying. They're not, like, more weak to impact or getting struck by my wrench, like the operators are. They're weak to melee. Is what it said. I was trying to remember what it actually, how it actually described it. We've got a bunch of equipment. I'm not even going to guess at various panels. Then we head into containment. That's where you want me to go through containment. Not sounding like the best of ideas. This is Hans Kelstrop, psychotronics director. Hold on. We have a mimic. Inside some kind of containment. <laughs> Mimic matter one available. Scan Typhon organisms to calibrate psychotrope. Alien research. Typhon ability research. Mimic matter one. End to view available abilities. All right, let's have a look at that. That is a whole new set of... Okay, so I was wondering why there seem so few research branches. It's because... The rest of it's in Mimics, and you have to wait till later in the game to get them all. That's why you'll need to fabricate Neuromods later on. Now, do I want to be plugging alien shit into my brain? <laughs> yes, of course I do. I want alien powers. So, okay. I've got unknown abilities. I've got Kinetic Blast, which I do know about. Creates a physical blast that deals up to 50 damage. It pushes away anything within 5 meters of the targeted area. And I've increased my Psy ability to 100. I have Mimic Matter. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Nice. But I kind of want this Kinetic Blast. But I don't think I can get it until I've done scannable things. So I know what it is, I just can't get it. Morph, I can, this is the only one I can get is two Neuromods. How many Neuromods have I got? Have I got three. What was I aiming for? Maybe toughness. 
I should probably also upgrade my Transdar uniform. And dismantle. I mean, there are other things I want to do. See, metabolic boost would be really useful. Increase health gain by food. Anything I can do to increase health gain would be lovely. Increase your Psy pull to 150. Then neurostimulant Psy pull increase and allows insertion of two additional chipsets on your psychotrope. Psychoscope, sorry. I'm wondering whether I should get this ahead of time. Open up an additional inventory space, and eventually I'm going to need more chipsets. Might be worthwhile doing now rather than later. Or do I go straight for morph? Mind you, that's a stealth ability, and... You know. I don't, I don't intend to do more stealthing than I absolutely have to. Let's get the suit modification now. We'll hold on to one neuro mod. Detour. Good. Sending you the code to a safe and direct to Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuro mods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that. Maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. You want to see me again? You sound earnest about that, but I'm not sure how much I can trust you. Now, I need a matching key card to get into Kelstrip's office. Isn't that what you just gave me a code for? Guts, me at multiple objectives, Kelstrip's safe. You said you gave me a code. I'm, I'm, I'm double checking that. Proceed past Psychotrope Calibration Checkpoint and access the guts. Uh, or you just send me a location of where they might be. I don't have a maxi matching key card. I might have a poke around first before I break my way in to pass the glue and just jump through the window. For some reason, I'm not inclined to do that. Broken cooler fan. Because there might be a card around here, and also I want to explore in case there's interesting hidden items just around. The science operator seems friendly. I can probably get up there. Actually, I, can. I know I can get up there. Do I want to waste the glue on it? Let's load it in. Oh, go on. That should be... Hey, I can do this. Not a problem. Seems steep. Okay, definitely scan the turret. And we got another mimic down there. Research complete. Okay, weakness to electric EMP, explosive and melee, and immune to psychic and null wave. Immune to psychic and null wave. Let's scan you up as well, at a distance. Scan complete. More specimens required. Oh, something went beep. I don't like that. Okay, I can deal with that mimic later. We got another mimic down there. Just hanging out there. Mimic matter two available. That'll be way later down the line, anyway. Is that my... Is that just inside my headset going boom like that? I wish it wouldn't. It makes me think there's an alarm going off. Scanning. That is probably the outside, isn't it? No, that is a science operator going boim. I maintain that I really wish it wouldn't do that. Hello. Turret. I've already researched the turrets as much as I'm going to, apparently. Oh. Mimic. I can't see it from this distance. But it was behind this wall, I think. You're a thing now. You're hiding. Just scan everything. There are two in here. Have I fully scanned up the mimics? Mimic matter three. Ah, uh, yeah, and full research complete. I'm gonna double check that's definitely it. Actually, yeah, I know with the turrets that it is. Alright, they're both chairs. 
Let's do this without hitting myself this time. What's this other thing? Oh, more mimics. A lot more mimics. Okay, you kind of know where I am. You're down. God, I'm glad you don't have to be overly accurate with these things. Come on. Oh, a lot of mimics Hello. probably just got woken up by my haphazardly firing a shotgun around the place. <sighs> I know, live specimen required for scanning. I'm just looking around. There's another one somewhere. There's a bunch of exotic materials, mineral materials, organic materials, synthetic materials. Oh! Glue. Ah, he got me, damn it all. Can I? Got you. Okay, I might have woken up a lot of things, but I got him scanned through. I might have just made a big error. Burnt circuit board. I'm gonna have to find a recycler somewhere or a Oh, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of stressed out now. Let's charge up. Uh, no suit repair kits. Let's load up. I know there's another mimic in here. I've seen him. No, I don't need sparkling wine. I think the last thing I need in this scenario is alcohol. Another phantom. Get him scanned up. Come on. Get out of behind that thing. Please. I lost it. Lost it. And he noticed me. Okay. Oh, he heard me. What? I think I might have bumped something and made a noise. Critical attack. Alright, I got him. Knocked him out. Glue canisters, nice. Dead mimic? Nope. No, it won't highlight them if it's a dead mimic. There's another mimic over here. You know you're in danger, right? What? The sh uh, just the station shaking, I'm sure, but... Scan over here, make sure there's nothing else of interest. There we go. I gotta make some more 9mm ammo, but... Ah, and I got some more shotgun shells. Ah, this is... This is not going overly badly. I mean, it isn't going great, but it's still not going the worst it could possibly be going. So I call that a win. I already took everything from the Phantom. I could have repaired up this turret and had it shoot the phantom, but they get destroyed as well. Test tube sam sample, petri dish sample. Is there a... That looks like it used to be a... Recycler. Evan Avery. Sorry, mate. Typhon organs all over the place. Alright. I'm kind of... I know I'm kind of walking on en air on eggshells about all this, but I want to check in there as well. But you know, you've seen how badly I get hit if I'm not prepared. I've got a bit of extra space in my inventory, by the way. I should remember that. I was at the edge. So it was probably worthwhile getting that size upgrade to my inventory. I've got 
so many EMP charges and almost everything that's really dangerous to me are phantoms and they're immune to them. Corey Richards, 9 mil bullets, thank you. Uh, you've got a newer mod here. Annalise Galagos, Biohazard Waste, and a transcribe. Hold L to listen, shall. Hello, Dr. Kelstrom. I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. <sighs> Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extra national space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrom. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. Okay, there, have I got a second one, or is it the same one that I just listened to? Just check that. Uh, audio logs. Yeah, the volunteers. No, I've got another one called Mementos. I, yeah, no, they're definitely not volunteers, are they? That's absolutely not a thing. And Annalise was really, really concerned that she was researching on unwilling people, but you would be. I like how he said, everything we've done is legal, as if that makes a difference. Legal isn't the concern. Ethics. Ethical. Moral. That's a bigger problem. Alright, let's listen to mementos. I'm sure about this. Not too late to flush Quinlan it all Purvis. out of airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me, either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton? Be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. She leaked. She leaked. And she's dead, and I'll tell you one thing about her. She doesn't look like she's been killed by a phantom or a mimic. See, this is what that looks like. Corey Richards here looks like he's been killed by a mimic. That's very unpleasant to look at. She looks human still. Blood on the floor. I don't see any obvious bullet wounds. She might have been killed by the staff just before the outbreak happened. No password found. I can break into this. Let's do so. No, oh, I'm over here. Sorry. Hey, I might have to do this again. I wasn't ready for it. I was look. I keep. No, I got it. I was looking at the at the where I'm supposed to go, not what my object was. It always kind of messes me up. All right. Let's read her emails, I suppose. Remember your mission. The Volunteers Trans Star sends us our irredeemable sociopaths. This is from Hans Kelstrup to Galagos. The Volunteers. Okay, put that in quotation marks. Trans Star sends us our irredeemable sociopaths sentenced to die for their crimes. We are neither judge nor jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to the benefit of all humanity. Says you, Mr. Kelstrup. Re uh, read the file on 13 if you need assurance. It's unlocked in the extraction lab. All right. From Damien Lynn to Anna Galagos. Galagos, Galagos. I managed to lock my morgue keycard in the morgue. Kelstrop thinks I'm on. A, I'm, I'm an imbecile in the, as it is. Do you have any ideas? Well, she did. She didn't tell them to me. Something about the morgue. And something about file 13. Or uh, something on 13. I'm not sure what 13 is precisely. Lab 13, perhaps? But I'm on lab A, so presumably that would be lab... What's the 13th letter of the alphabet? I have no idea off the top of my head. Evan Avery is dead. See, he doesn't look like he's been killed by Typhon either. Maybe some of them get their heads bashed in by those phantoms. Not all of them get turned into mimics. Okay. 
That's this side, I think, cleared out. Let's... There are... There's a phantom. Where? Oh, hello. You're down there. I want you scanned up from a distance, ideally. Come on. Got it. Thank you. I'll deal with him in time. I think this is the airlock, right? To operate, use terminal. Let's unlock it. So I can now get to Psychotronics and out of Psychotronics through the airlock. So if I need to quickly escape, I can find my way through the hull. I love that feature so much that I could literally right now jump straight back up to my office or at least to... Wherever. Where, where was I last open? The hardware labs. And deal with that. I think I'm going to have to deal with this phantom first. That might be a good idea. Because I've got mimics up here and I'm going to attract attention if I start unloading into them. I think I want to glue this guy up and shoot him with my pistol. Tab. 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 For the love of God, remember to use tab. Oh, oh, the glue's not here anymore. Oh, no, he's seen me, he's seen me. Tab. Damn it. I really thought that last shot would have him. I didn't move fast enough. Mobility is important. Captain Spree's fish sticks. I'll eat those. And you know what, um... I'll drink something I picked up recently too. But with the silence pistol and the glue, that should have taken him out relatively silently and didn't alarm the mimics. I was on the wrong side. Ah, that's why I couldn't find my glue. Okay. Back up here, I think. Ah. Nope. Come on. I didn't make this easy for myself, did I? I think I, deal I dealt with that guy in a single shot. That was nice. Crouch. There's another one over there. I've already scanned. Huh. Got him glued up, but damn it, I'm going through my glue fast. Thanks, turret. You're very useful for dealing with that. And that you didn't get... Diagnostic check verbose. Oh, I've got a new weapon. Ew. Sorry, what did I just pick up? A Typhon Lure, aka a Nightlight, emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices a Typhon to move towards the lure for a short period of time. Combined with other weapons and tactics to escape, ambush, or observe a Typhon from a safe distance, can be thrown or affixed to a station. It's a, it's a noisemaker. Is what that is. He had one on him. He probably picked one up and carried it around with him because he was wondering what the lure was doing. Uh, scanning around here. Looks like I'm safe. I need more glue. In fact, I need more of everything. Bullets. Typhon. Mimesis. Mimesis. I'll check that in a second. I think I'm crouched. Just going to observe. That is just a screen. And we have got some emails to read. Okay, I know there's at least two mimics inside here. Science operator, mimic above there. There's one down the floor here. I could deal with hidden as something, probably a cup or something. Uh, I'll read this first. Excerpt from lab notes maintained by Rory Mannion and Chris and yeah Christine Lloyd may explain how mimics arrived here and how at least one survived the vacuum inside the collector for so long. They can move to an adjacent dimensional bubble, where time passes much more slowly, shifting back with the appropriate stimulus, e.g., prey. The, from the mimic's perspective, a six million year journey to our solar system in the form of an iron meteor might only take a few seconds. These things are the ultimate trapdoor spiders. They, they came here from another solar system 
in an iron asteroid, which is why I'm pissing... So those asteroid fragments I'm picking up are the asteroid that carried one Typhon organism here. Is that what I'm taking this as? There was an asteroid that approached. The Americans and the Russians noticed it and decided to do something about it. So they teamed up and got really down to business because, you know, the Earth was under threat. Uh, from Mitsuko Takaji to Helen Barker Combs, V-010655-737 has shown signs of further instability in the last 24 hours. Subject demonstrated morbid curiosity in small objects around him, attempting to place them in his mouth and consume them, nutritive and non-nutritive. Initial diagnosis would seem to be a rapid onset pica, but there was no evidence of this prior to his exposure to the telepath. We're not ruling out suicide attempts, although the subject isn't making an effort to hide it. I'll be performing an endoscopic exam next ship to make sure nothing is lodged in the esophagus or intestines. Mitsuko. Oh, the, the non-nutritive things he was attempting to consume. Nice. Was this a phantom or a person exposed to a telepath? Suicide watch update. 37 is under suicide watch. As requested, the prisoner hasn't been given any sedatives to keep his system clean from the upcoming, for upcoming surgery. No food either, only water. He doesn't do much except rock back and forth, staring at the same point at the wall and mumbling to himself in Russian. Can't seem to make out what he's saying. He's made no attempt to hurt himself that we've seen. This volunteer doesn't seem to be suicidal. He seems disoriented, like he's sleep drunk. Security Officer Smith, from Christopher Smith to Helen Barker Combs and Mitsuko to Takashi. Hold on, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Encephalectomy. Encephalectomy. From Kelstrup to Barker Combs. Helen, I think we've gotten about all we're going to get out of 37 by talking. I want you to schedule surgery within the next few days. Let's get it out and onto an analysis as soon as possible. And into analysis as soon as possible. Okay, that's unpleasant and curious. 37, subject 37. Do I know who that was? I, Christopher something was one of the phantoms I think I fought. Ah, leverage two to get into that. All right. Let's just break in. There we go. Any sign? It's on the shelf. Got him. Surprise attack. Nice. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of notes on this table. Yeah, life's, no life specimens. Science operator. Phantom. Interesting. Crouch. I seem to have... Oh. He's shooting my bloody... turret. Great. I think it was facing the wrong way. I, I take it you've destroyed that now. Thanks. He was on patrol. He just seemed to have spawned. I'll take all these spare parts in any case. Okay, well, never mind him for now. Actually, I should probably deal with that. God, there's so many... Wow, look at around here. There's so many freaking notes. Hold on. That is... Ah. Ah. Is that this? I've got all of them. It's keeping them. That'll be most recent. Oh, hold on. I can read this. There's a bit more here. Uh, imitation power seems limited to objects roughly the mass of the mimic itself. Could the psychoscope be modified to somehow detect hidden ones? Get to high ground and immobilize with the glue cannon. Well, shooting them seems to do the job in any case. 
If I can get one more job with the Phantom, I'm done with them. I don't have to keep scanning them. What is this giving me? See, it's is it coming up here? Am I picking up notes? It would be down here, wouldn't it? Yields exotic material. No, mineral materials, right? Or is it giving me notes? Keys. Oh, wow. Good heavens. I got a... Wow, that's so much. I've got so much stuff. I can reread all my emails. Are these things... Or am, what am I picking up? It's saying note. I don't know what I'm actually picking up. I'm genuinely curious. All right. Hello, Dr. I think I should pick everything up, but I really think I need to deal with that phantom. And I would really like some kind of suit repair kit, but I have not got one. And I can't seem to find one, and I certainly can't make any. I'm going to pick all of these up, because these might be important. Damn. That's less surprising now that it can um, detect it. It just says mimic, and I'm just like, okay. Not a mimic. Oh, I see. They just put not a mimic on things. And I've been just pulling off random things. So this is how you detect. See, phantom. Oh, you know I'm in here. Oh, you fucking got me. That's not a small amount of bullshit. Oh, you got a grenade one. Oh, that's you. Did you get blown up? I think he... Oh, you killed yourself, you moron. That's hilarious. That's absolutely priceless. <laughs> he blew himself up. Oh, I missed. Really running low on glue. Obliged. That was very funny. I'm going to leave that fire going. Mostly because I didn't waste glue to get rid of it. Okay, so when what these notes are is not a mimic over and over again. Anywhere that isn't a mimic. Okay. Alright, still crawling through areas. Behavioral biometrics. Null wave transmitter. I don't know what that does. Okay, you're in there. I don't want to break in. I'll have a look at utilities. But that is a mimic maintained in storage. Contained in storage. Take this Typhon organ Petri dish. Test tube. Some crumpled paper. Take everything I can get my hands on. That might even vaguely be useful. Where is? Where are you? You're in here somewhere. I know it. I don't know what these buttons do, and I am I am not going to press any of them until I'm certain I know what they do. And they did say not to hang around in this area because it was where the mimics, where the Typhon was first discovered, or the breakout occurred, perhaps. Typhon lure. Rory, I've loaded another nightlight as requested up the psycholuminescence. This time, Typhon ought to follow the lure like on an imprinted uh, lure like an imprinted duckling. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to open that. Do I? What is that stuff all around here? Is that just cobwebs or... Oh. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments, like frozen light. What are they? The typhoon weave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Baby. I don't not trust him. That's the weird thing, is that I kind of buy him. I shouldn't. They're weaving it out of thin air, but what? I, I That can't be safe. I'm not going in there. If I'm playing as a sensible human being, you don't go into the big container full of glowing space stuff of unknown function. 